morning, good morning. How lovely to meet you. We're minor royals. Yes, we've been rather overshadowed by William and Kate, but it couldn't matter less. We still have an important role to play. What an enticing convenience store you have here. And what a snug little spot here you have behind the counter. With your mobile telephone there and a can of Lucozade here. Everything just so. Oh, what a wonderful place Willston is. No visas, no jabs, and so much quicker to get to for the weekend than Morocco. It really is a hidden gem. Our daughter, Izzy, has just moved here. She's just moved in with her chappy. We're very, very pro at all. He doesn't say much. Still waters. And he smokes rather a lot of wacky. But then, so did Keats. Mm, what an exotic aroma. Mm, one can't quite put one's finger on it, because one's never really heard of any of these things. But what a colourful display of beans and pulses and halal thingies. Now, halal is a religious form of meat, isn't it? One wouldn't necessarily want to live in a place that sold halal meat exclusively, but it's terribly exciting to be able to dip in, so to speak. It's like being back in that market where your handbag was stolen. And yet, cheap by jowl, with the exotic, we have the mundane. Booze, sickies, loo paper, whiskers, everything for the down and out. We have quite a few down and outs in Kensington. They always have a story. Now, you'll have to help us out here. We need a prezi for Izzy. A housewarming for her and Wackett. We were going to buy her linen from the White Company. But we thought there was a danger, Wackett burn a hole in it. <laughs> then we thought, something fresh. They don't have a daily, and Wackett doesn't notice the grime. We've got Dettol. James Bond, you're so quick and instinctive. It's as if you were born to be a shop girl. Thank you. So lovely visiting you. Cheerio. Oh, do you have an OBE? No. Oh, you should do. They give them to you chaps these days. Bye. What is that? Yes, his legs all better. Oh. It's been cut sleepers. Can you spare some change for a cup of tea, please? We don't carry change, I'm afraid. We usually have a chap who gives us whatever it is. We're minor royals, you see. We've been rather overshadowed by William and Kate, but it couldn't matter less. Couldn't matter less. We still have an important role to play. But we know exactly how you feel on the tea front. I'm gasping for a cuppa, but I'm afraid I shall have to wait till I get to my club. So, we're all in the same boat. No cash for a cuppa. <laughs> I'm dying for a ginger nut. Tell me, why are you in a sleeping bag in the middle of the day? Because I'm sleeping rough. Oh, you're doing your Duke of Edinburgh? <gasps> Everything's so perfect. Your dog here and such a lovely spot. It's you and sky and smell of fresh bed in the morning. Mmm, bliss. Mmm, I don't know how you keep so thin. What's your trick? Well, I ain't got enough money for food. <gasps> I just had a terribly good idea. Why don't you eat those pigeons? Oh, pigeon pie's a wonderful thing. It's rather a bony bird, but with a wonderful, deep, gamey flavour. Yes, you get your dog to catch them, and then you must hang them for a couple of days to tenderise the meat. Mm, what a lovely dog. What a lovely dog. You know the old chestnut about how dogs look like their owners? Well, the rule certainly holds fast with you two, doesn't it? Look at you with your milky eyes, faraway stares, scruffy coats, <laughs> wonderful stuff. Do you have any flowers for me? We're minor royals, you see. They were rather prone to be given flowers by ordinary people. No. Couldn't matter less. Really, don't lose any sleep over it No, I don't suppose you will, will you? With your lovely, snuggly sleeping bag ready to take you to the land of Nod any moment now. <laughs> I'm rather envious. I could do with a kip myself. I'm afraid I shall have to wait till I get to my club. Cheerio. Bye. Just be there. Just be there. Yes. Job Ah, good morning. Morning, morning. Morning. What a blustery day. Hello. Do I know you? I don't think so. We're minor royals. I'm a cousin of the Queen. And so am I, but by a different branch of the family, fortunately. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we've been rather overshadowed by William and Kate, but it couldn't matter less. It really couldn't matter less. Maybe I recognise your voices. Of course you recognise people through their voices. I suppose if one sense is completely defunct and the others have to sort of sharpen up a bit, how brilliant the body is. And to go for a walk when you can't see anything, I couldn't do it, I really couldn't. I'd be too worried about being run over by a car or walking smack bang into a lamppost. Mm. So jolly good for you. Can we do anything? Look after your dog or...? Well, if I give you my dog, I wouldn't get very far. He's my eyes. Of course! That's why blind people have dogs. One learns something new every day in the park. It's such an education. We have a black lab called Mugabe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, if you excuse me, I need to get home. Of course, you live in a home. Uh, we could open your home for you. Yes, I always carry scissors in case there's a ribbon to cut. Yes, we could name your home after my wife, the Princess George Home for the Marvellous in Blind. No. Oh, no, couldn't matter less. Off you toddle then. Bye. Cheerio. Extraordinary how he can sense where the path goes. It's actually quite creepy. 
Good for you. Come on. Wonderful things, trees, aren't they, darling? How do they know when to grow and shed their leaves? It's quite a terrible muddle if I were a tree. Nonsense, you'd make a 